I am the CEO here. This is my responsibility to take care of the situation. They want 15 million dollars, or they are gonna kill us. Don't you dare threaten my men! Welcome back to Kermit Uncut. As you probably know, the big movie release this week is Captain Phillips, the new film by Paul Greengrass, starring Tom Hanks as the captain of a container ship which is overrun by Somali pirates. It is an absolutely nail-biting movie. It's based on a true story, and apparently it's pretty close to the truth, but it's real action cinema tension. You watch the whole thing on the edge of your seat, it's a real white-knuckle ride. Interestingly enough, it makes a very good double bill with another film which came out in the cinema a while ago and is now available on DVD called A Hijacking. It's a Danish movie, also about a ship being overrun by Somali pirates, but a completely different take on a similar story. I remember reviewing a hijacking when it came out in cinemas and saying, you know, if this was a Hollywood movie, they would concentrate on the mechanics of the hijacking itself. Now, while Paul Greengrass isn't a Hollywood director as such, it is true that Captain Phillips has a great action sequence that does concentrate on those mechanics, along with a lot of backstory about what's driven the Somali into such desperate means. But the two films are polar opposites. They're like mirror images of each other. In the Greengrass, we have absolutely nail-biting action sequences. In the Danish movie, we have nail-biting inaction sequences, sequences in which the tension comes from nothing happening. In the Greengrass movie, we have the Navy piling in. We have huge ships arriving and loads of people running around doing stuff. In the Danish movie, we have nothing at all. We have nobody rushing to anybody's defense. Also, the Paul Greengrass movie concentrates on what's happening on the ship, but the Danish movie has more attention on what's happening back on shore in the offices of the company that own the ship that's been hijacked, desperately waiting for any communication from the pirates with huge gaps in between. And everything is to do with the numbers, the bidding, the trying to get the ransom number right so they won't endanger the crew and they might actually get their ship back. The hijacking is written and directed by Tobias Lindholm, who wrote Thomas Vinterberg's Brilliant, The Hunt, so you can kind of guess the tone of the film. Now, I think both Captain Phillips and The Hijacking are both great movies, both made with real honesty and integrity. They tell similar stories, but as films, they couldn't be more different.